Hey everyone, welcome back to the concert hall. I'm Sunny, and this is your weekly bebop jazz lesson. Why'd you say it like that, Sunny? I was trying to be cool, man. <laughs> Whatever. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Welcome back, guys. Oh, seriously. All right, so we've been practicing. So there are kind of two levels to what we're doing now. There's last year's practice, which was into the note and then... Uh, some enclosures and there's this year's practice which is that exercise that I learned from Steve which I guess we call degrees of the scale because we play a chord and on each degree of the scale so I don't know if I just I just think we called it that a long time ago I don't remember <laughs> so like but like uh, and and okay so that's the deal Anyway, so that's the deal so there are two levels right and so today we're gonna look at Oprah Vav and maybe little suede shoes again and we're going to, you're going to see, and then there's a third level, right? You combine it and stuff, and I was like, yeah, but whatever, man. So you're going to see that bad habits are starting to form. Seriously. Like, seriously. And I'll show you right now. Like, so often, like, so often we think, play. <laughs> what are you going to play? And that's the question. What are you going to play? And we use phrases like, like, what do you play on a C7? But it's not, what do you play on a C7? It's, what do you play going towards C7? That's why my exercises have these different colored notes in it. And in Humber, we have to use all these different things. <laughs> it's like, whatever. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, it's all a blur. So that's the deal. And today's exercise is to get you away from that bad habit that's forming. Most, almost all, not all, but almost all exercises start down here and ascend. And that's not how we play, man. <laughs> so, so we play up here and we come down. Even the most exercises that are, are like descend, they're usually backwards or like an inversion or something. So, so even our exercises don't really help us. And the real negative thing about that is that we play as we practice, we practice as we play, and if we start an exercise, like, okay, so let's take O Provov, G major, one bar of G major, then I'm gonna play A minor, D7 back to G. Those are the first three bars of O Provov. So one bar of G major, let's start on G, and we'll just start on G and see what happens. <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> That was pretty cool. I went, G, I played G, F sharp, G, A, da, boo, do, ba. And then on the B, on B3, I played B, B flat, B, C. Hey man, that sounded okay. Uh, except I am now, the next note is supposed to be a note of the A minor chord. And I'm already on C. <laughs> so like, that exercise doesn't work. Like these things don't work. <laughs> it's like, what are you, like it just doesn't. <laughs> like that um, Sonny Stitt lick that I gave you, he went straight up from G to G, and then he went, like it's, it's very different. So, so right away we have a problem. In, in the first bar, man. <laughs> so I'll do it again. Okay, G, F sharp, G, A, B. First, this is all backwards, but I'm just trying to explain something to you. We're on the B on beat three. We're doing it right. Now the question, because remember, the exercise that I had you play started on the end of one. We eliminated beat, the downbeat entirely. So, but I'm showing you something today. So. As, hey, and welcome back, man. It's great to be back. I gotta tell you, life was rough for a while, but a day playing music beats a day not playing music, and I'm so happy to be back. I think I'm gonna cruise around jazz festivals and give workshops and clinics and stuff and jam, and I think I'm gonna chill out and just play music for a bit. <laughs> and so, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Check out my other YouTube channel if you want to know more. All right, next. Next, next, next. So let's get back into it. So I'm on G major, and I just played da ga da ga. Then I'm on beat three, and I play a B. All right, everything's cool, man. But now I have to play into the A chord. So even though we're on beat three of 
the G major, and we have two bars left, we have to start playing towards, we have to start thinking A minor, because that's where we're going. And that's what's, that's the way it is. So it's always, what's the next thing? Where are you going? Remember Barry used to say, hey, hey, sax. <laughs> How do you get to the two chord, man? Right? How do you get to the two chords? You've got to think about it. So now, now no more scales. Oh, we didn't even do the scale exercise. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so when I get to the B, now it's time for me to line up the A chord. So let's say the E, the five on the A. Let's circle that. Enclose it. So F natural, D, D sharp, E on beat one or the A chord. Right? So that's starting to line things up. It's a little tricky. So let's do our exercise, right? The very, very basic exercise, because each day we, re 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 we relearn our technique anew. At Humber, they made me learn a bunch of sayings. Paganini said each day we re relearn our technique anew. So whatever. <laughs> so like, here we go. So, O Provov, we're going to do the exercise, okay? Just descending into the ton, or just descending into notes. And I'm going to say it for you. So, we're going to descend into the G on beat three. We're going to take a break. Into the G, into the G, into the A, into the D, into the G. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Right? There's an A minor there, but they're not going to worry about it. Then we're going to play D minor. C7, no we're not, we're going to play D minor, G7, C. Okay, and now we're going to play uh, C minor 7, F7, G. Oh my god. Man, I don't know, my brain just froze on G. Cause, oh, because I'm not playing G. I'm supposed to play D minor, G7, C. No, 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 wait. Everybody calm down. Let's take it from the beginning again. I'm messing up this song. <laughs> Better of the blues. Okay, G, then A, D, G. <laughs> Next, D, G, C. Good. C minor, F7, G. All right, good. Good, I did it. All right. B, E, A. All right, I did it. D to G. So that's our exercise. Oh my god, my brain's all over the place. All right, so that's it. But when we, and that's all the scale we're going to do for right now. For the rest of the week. No more scale for the rest of the week. Because what happens is, we get caught up in this little loop of going back and forth, ascending, descending, in this really tight little air. <laughs> trying to do stick with it man 10 minutes i guess i'm a little all over the place today i was actually practicing earlier and now my brains are all over the place so so that's the exercise we've been working on and we've been adding in closers but what happens is as you're playing this like in addition to that the level two exercise sounds like this i'll play it in the key of g g yeah why not man right and there's a lot of we've i've introduced in the last two weeks two three weeks a lot of scale to you guys and we're not really playing scale and not yet anyways and 
when we get to that, I'm going to introduce the half step rules because you're going to end up on a note and you're going to need your half steps. And so the concept of scale is going to take on a different meaning. Right now, it's not the problem. Like the problem is this idea of scale uh, and these patterns that you practice no, I'm not against any of it because obviously I like right we practice it but like what happens is you're standing here and you're trying to find your way through the music which is not what we're doing I know it's kind of fun to play blind like that but it's not the point we're kind of bopping through the changes right we're not playing we're not wanking on scales we're not painting sounds here. We're bopping. It's bebop. We're bopping through the changes. And we're bopping, right? We're jazzing up chord tone to chord tone. I know it seems lame, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's what we're doing. What do you think? What do you think you're doing when you're playing the blues? When you're going. What do you think that is? Like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> like, you're okay, so, so, but we're going to eliminate all of that because we're not doing any scale stuff. Like, we're doing, we're trying to get away from that. I want you to think this, I'm here, I'm going there, I'm going there, I'm going there. And what happens is everything sort of slows down. And instead of all of this in between stuff, you, you're going like this and you know where you are when you are. All right, so what are you trying to say, Sonny? Man, thanks for sticking with me. Holy long-winded today. What's the exercise for this week, Sonny? All right, so that's the problem. The problem is in your head, what do I play? And you're looking, you think you're looking forward, but the music's already passed you by. So like you're thinking G major, but you're already on a D set. <laughs> like you're already halfway down. So you got to watch out. All right, here we go. So what are we going to do today? So we're going to begin this week's exercise by just encircling a couple of to chord tones. That's it. <laughs> That's it. We've already done this. But what I'm doing today is we're removing the scale. So for the level one guys, completely remove the scale. And just enclose notes, just enclose notes and have fun. Just enclose notes and have fun. And I'll show you right now. And then for the level two guys, we're going to add in at the end of this, we're going to play these enclosure things and then we're going to add chord resolution. So because we're going to add the exercise, we're going to combine it. It's kind of neat. All right. Down the road, down the road, you're going to add other things playing into the G, for example. So at the beginning, you know, we're descending into the G and closing the G, ascending into the G, but there are a lot of ways to get the G. I'll say this again. The problem is you're on G or you go to B. And the question is, how do I get to the A chord, man? And then how do I get from the A chord to the D chord? And then how do I get back to Do? Because that's kind of the point of it all. And how do I make it sound like a waterfall? And how do I get that girl who's some, for some ridiculous, she seems to be waiting for a friend at the bar, but like, man, if I get through my solo fast enough, I think I got a chance. <laughs> so like, how do I do all of this stuff? I also got to tell you guys stuff. I don't close my eyes when I play anymore. One, because I have to read the music. <laughs> I'm playing charts. The second is, well, even if I've been memorized, the, I don't because I did this gig once at this festival, and I closed my eyes, and I was a really nice festival and stuff, and it was like, and and I almost fell off stage. <laughs> I started bobbing. I was like, <laughs> and I'm I'm not moving. I'm just standing here. I'm playing right. Next thing you know, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, all right, whatever, man. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Maybe I shouldn't be using a clip on mic. All right, so here's the exercise. Oh, provav. All right, we're going to wrap some notes. We're going to wrap the G, then we're going to wrap the B, right, on the G chord. We're going to wrap the G, wrap the B. Then we're going to go to the A chord. We're going to wrap the E on the A chord. Then we're going to wrap the F sharp on the D chord. And then we're going to wrap the G on the G chord. So here we go. <laughs> Actually, let's start on the B. It's a little bit more funky. <laughs> like it feels nicer in my hands because it's descending. B, G, 
Right, it descends. So let's try something like that. So here we go. Follow along. All right, that's it. All I did was I enclosed the notes. I went C, A, B flat, B. I enclosed the B, B1, the first bar. Then I enclosed the G, B3, the first bar. A, F sharp, A, F, F sharp, G. And then, I, and that, right? So that's B3, bar one. And then I played, F, I enclosed the E, F, D, E flat, E, which is B1 of bar two. And then I enclosed the F sharp, G, E, B, F, F sharp, right? And now it takes me to beat three, the D chord, the second bar. And then getting back to the one, I play A, F, F sharp, G. And then I'm on beat one of bar three, and I breathe. <laughs> and I breathe. Because the next chord goes to, is a new, it's a new pattern, right? It's a, it's a new progression. A goes to D. So we stopped on the rest chord. All right, let's do it again. That's it. Just playing the enclosures. Kind of neat, huh? All right, next. I'm going to play, I'm going to keep going. I'll play, I'll enclose the D, I'll enclose the G, and then I'll enclose the E, the third of C, because I kind of like that feel in my head. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Then we'll breathe. <laughs> right, we're on the C7, we'll breathe. Now we're going to the C minor 7, to the F7, to the G. So I'm going to enclose the note G, which will be beat 1 of the C minor chord. And then I'll enclose the note A, which will be beat 3 of the F chord. And then I'll enclose the B, which is beat 1 of the G chord. Seriously. So here we go. <laughs> so here we go. So we just played bar four into bar we play bar four into bar five d minor g7 c okay now normally i play like a b flat because it's the blues right right but like not today man we're just in closing we're staying focused and then we're going to play c minor f7 g so and close the c and close the a and close the b all right. Hey, man. And remember to bop it through. How fun. We're bopping. I'll play everything up to here. Nice. Jazz. Jazz. All right, man. All right. Now we have a 2-5 going to A minor. All right. So here we go. In bar. Oh, man. Bar. What bar are we at? We're in bar. I don't know. We're, we're, good. we're turning to A minor. So B minor 7, E7 flat 5. So we're going to play, enclose the B, enclose the E, enclose the A, breathe. <laughs> then we'll enclose the E and go to the D chord. F sharp, enclose the F sharp, enclose the A, and then enclose the B on the G. Here we go. Last four bars. Okay, last five bars from the B. Yes! Oh man, I'm just teaching you guys how to have fun with the chord tones. You know, there's a secret that's going on here. Like, there's a thing. Most of you guys, when you go to a jazz workshop, they say, play the roots. <laughs> All right, now play the thirds. And now play the fifths. And then the next thing you know, like 40 minutes later and your chops are fried, you're like, what the hell? How do I turn this into music? And then you're like on a G major and you're like, how do I turn this G? And so you try and do this. So you try and do this. And they say, play with some rhythm, man. You know, like... A, but you don't play like you play like this right like you play like that and you're like well man what am i doing but we don't play like that we play into the a or we play into the g
All right, that's level two. <laughs> that's level three. Here we go. So have fun. So take all of your songs, all of your songs now, and don't play any scale in any of your songs because you're going to get, you're going to land on the wrong note. <laughs> and like, that's not cool, man. I remember when I was sitting in Humber. I'm talking, talking to you guys. I'm mentioning Humber a lot right now. Anyways, why am I telling you about this? Oh, because what's happening is when you play the scale approach to things, first, you don't have anything to play. Second, you're only going to play licks. Or three, you're only going to play patterns. Four, you're not going to play them in the right spot. And five, what else is not going to, people are going to, five, they're going to laugh. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is it's just, it has a different harmonic pull to it. It's not really what we're doing. The deal is to just, okay, so that's the deal. Enough of all that nonsense. So, so that's your exercise. I'll play it again for you once again in Oprah Bob. And bop through it have some fun i'll transcribe it and put it through but like but the deal is we're only sticking right now with this enclosure because right now that's the only way we have to get to the next note that's it <laughs> you know when you're talking to kids you're like use your words man <laughs> use your words <laughs> don't just poop on the floor <laughs> use your words man and so, but like Unless you're, whatever. And then so, so when you're playing right now, as we're bopping through one chord tone to the next, there's, um, we only have one way to do it. <laughs> like, like we, uh, uh, right now, like we have three. Descend into the note, ascend into the note, or enclose it. So like, you know, that's all you have. And I don't want you to play the scale part this week because... You're going to, you, it's too much not focused in it. Just, just do it. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to do it again on Oprah Vav. You have two legitimate musical bebop words now. You have a chord and you have a um, an enclosure. And with that, and you have descend, you can descend, but not this, let's not descend this week. No scales this week. Don't think any scale, don't think any key signatures, don't think anything like that. And close the note, play the chord. And that's the accent. From the concert hall, I'm Sunwich and everyone the best. Remember, always play pretty music, man. Whatever pretty music means to you, always play pretty music. And don't be afraid to talk to the girl. Yeah! Jazz! 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 Be cool, everyone, and I'll see you. Be cool, everyone, and I'll see you guys soon.